Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 75 degree Saturday, the 16th of July. I've been doing chores all day. <laughs> it's towards the end of the day, and Kelly goes, you know what, my arms are sore. I think I'm a pass on the ride. I said, all right, that's cool. I'll just drag something different than what I thought I was going to take, and uh, we'll go play. Dogs, they've done all their chores. They're all burnt out, too. So, we're going to take the Himalayan. <laughs> if you don't notice, and if you own one of these, you already know. There's just so much joy in riding these things. I don't know what it is about them. They're just super fun. Very comfortable. and Just it makes your ride real chill. <laughs> all right. Let's go play. So it's been uh, mostly cloudy all day today. Just these little on and off again little sun spouts. You know, it just catches them little blue spots up there. It's been really nice. The uh, th That was really nice for uh, cutting the lawn and stuff out there. The skies are beautiful out here though. Just that perfect, I don't know how we're getting this lucky. Uh, knock on wood I think we're supposed to have some fairly warm days next week but uh, that's expected this time of year this is absolutely just a gift old mother Na nature paying back for a, a fairly wet spring you know I hadn't even thought about where I'm going we're we're totally letting the Himalayan pick the route today didn't even think about it I just wanted to go for a ride jumped on her and <laughs> here we are I was just thinking where am I going and like oh I hadn't even thought about where I'm going I just went or it went <laughs> good old Himalayan I love this time of year when you're out riding one of your one of your steeds and just think happy thoughts. Look out, chipmunk! Whoa, don't yeah. That come chipmunk. Most of these fields have done been hayed now. Now what you see is trucks and trailers and everything hauling off. Uh, Bales of hay, both standard and the uh, the old round bales, roll bales. <laughs> Absolutely love the compression braking. It's a bad thing with uh, fuel injected bikes. You know the computers kind of feather that out. Because I don't want the inexperienced people to, you know, chop the throttle and all of a sudden, you know, you got this braking effect. I love them. You can, makes it so you can back them in. I've taken you out here before, but I'm not going to go rummaging through here because it's a private road. But it's a beautiful area out there. If you guys remember that, it's been quite a while. The last time I drove through there, I was on a GSA or something. We go up a little hill, we gotta go back down the little hill. He's adding himself a shop. That's always nice. The man cave. <laughs> like there was an old house or something that sat right there in the corner. I can see some concrete like that might have been a foundation at one point. There's a light pole and stuff. I'm pretty sure there was a house there. Who cows? That was a real white fence. Most of them things are like night. They're, they're not made out of real wood. They look like it. And it still looks beautiful, but when you get a closer look, 
but you gotta imagine what it's like to maintain a real wooden white fence. Haven't caught my dobies down here in a while. This would be a good day to come get me because they got the uh, element of surprise with the tall hay and stuff out there. <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen them in a while. Who knows? That might not even be the same people living here. Things have been so strange here lately. Squatchy. Just passed a truck back there. He done kicked himself up a big old dust cloud. This thing gets so slippery out here and whoa and dry. These are very mild dual spoke sport tires, but they'll do fine. It's a lot better than the those bald trail wings I had on the old DR. But that was kind of fun at the same time. I mean, it literally had no traction. Look at that dust cloud kicking up back there. That's pretty cool. Looks like you're railing along out in the desert. Oh, look at that. It's my oil, the road up here. I'll keep the gut, the dust down. Wonder if you used illegal oil. There's deer in the road. Howdy deer. Probably with youngin somewhere. She's the only one I see though. Oh yeah. Must have had some flooding down over the Oh. Actually it looks like they may they could have been and they just fixed it. This was new the last time we came out. Look at that. Got chickens and goats and stuff. Amazing the uh, food source chickens are. <laughs> if you guys remember at the end of this road, there's an old abandoned barn. She, uh, she's not looking so abandoned anymore. But I used to be able to uh, take that road out. I think I even... Then I, I brought my uh, DJI Spark out there and flew it over the river, I think. Private property. Yeah. Definitely posted now. But it was a cool road that went out there. Was, was that the bike squeaking or did I have a whistle in my nose? What's going on? Probably was. Side road there. I've seen a camper out there. That may be all this guy's land, and he's uh, that's where he's staying. Thought there was a oh, yeah, right here. I might have glanced up there if y'all seen it. See, it's all gated off. Yeah, I bet you that's where he's living, and that's just his storage shed for doing whatever he's doing. Probably planning on building a house out there. Gotta be a little leery of the road at the end of the lane though, right? <laughs> but heck, nowadays with... I mean, you can buy these things at reasonable prices too. I, I, I suggest if you're looking at them, definitely go with higher end. The, uh, the quality and features and stuff, but security cameras. Don't cheap out on them. It's well worth spending some money on them. But 
Yeah, I man. Nowadays, you can see everything. It alerts you. It's like around our house, you see everything. Unfortunately, I get way too many uh, things with, especially Danny. Danny and Abby moving around. It's all right. It keeps keeps me active looking, and but it definitely freaks out like on a. Uh, one of the neighbors drives by in their car, you know, and uh, you get vehicle. And sometimes the dogs will move a certain way, and it says "person detected." <laughs> that gets your attention. Then you got a panic button that you can hit, and it just immediately sets off sirens and dials 911 and all that stuff. Like if you look up, there's definitely something not right. But yeah, definitely get good quality because you can zoom in and get license plates, numbers, and faces, and everything else. The kids were taking care of the dogs when we were in uh, um, Canada. And uh, one of my daughters was up there. And uh, these, God, I don't know, some somebody down the road had some old Jeep for sale and... It was it looks like a non-runner. I don't even. Know, it didn't even look, didn't even look like a fixer-upper, but they were hauling it out, and um, they had a problem with their little tow dolly thing, and they stopped right in the road at the end of our driveway there, and kind of freaked her out. So, you know, we we get the alert. So we're in Canada talking to her and uh, saying, just you know, let me know, just scream something out. You know, we. Yeah, you have interaction with them, you know. She can hear us, we can hear her, and, and it's an ever, ever so slight delay. And I mean, like, one or two seconds, so you're not just exactly one-on-one. -on -one. But, uh, I mean, that's that was up in Canada. So, anyway, we're talking to her, and just let me know if it gets freaky, I'll just push the button, and the troops will come a-running. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice confidence inspiring to have stuff like that I don't know you know it's been we've had them for quite a while now the old Pamela and she just kind of floats along no big rush no strain no worries they're world famously reliable Travel around the world on these things. Getting later in the evening, the bugs are bugging. sitting there and everything that's so nice those swallows on the on the power lines I don't know if you guys can make those things out this guy down here that always mows his grass out into the road obviously not a motorcycle rider Saturday afternoon. Look, even the little radio flyer wagon's not even made out of metal no more. It's some plastic composite. <laughs> Old it. See all the trickling leaves coming down? Like I say, I think these cool nights is a uh, freaking nature out but it seems to do this every year about this time it always freaks me out you know start seeing the days getting shorter which sadly 
tonight is the last night that sunset will be within 9 p.m. Tomorrow it'll be 8.59. Already seeing the day shortening up. Woo! That looks like it could have some rain in it down there. Yeah, it's funny, I look at that and I go, wow, look how close that is. Looks like it could be some rain in it. Then I, when I edit this thing and I see it in super view, man, it looks like, like you're looking across the Grand Canyons or something that looks so far away. <laughs> it's like really close. Ah, look at the hay bales out there. Hot and cold mighty. Look, I'm not there in the pickup truck doing it by hand. That's cool. cedar mill used to be a lot of times i come out of there and take a right and head on up but uh i'm gonna slip out here thanks for coming for what seemed to be a very very relaxing himalayan himalayan ride these things are very relaxing there's no none of that you know you need to be in a hurry kind of a thing because you're not going to be in a hurry they're just fun make you slow down and smell the roses so to speak <laughs> very fun amazingly comfortable now that's some bales of hay holy moly anyway we'll talk to you up at, up at the house here in just a little bit we'll see you thanks well hello there youtube man look how dark it is out here it's it's an hour before sunset it is. It's very dark. It must have been in dark clouds to see when I was riding and rolled over. Mm -hmm. Although I can see the sun's trying to, trying to creep out of that little cloud off there in the corner. It may get nice before it's over. Yes. <laughs> but I, I thought it was a lot later. It got so dark. I thought, okay, we need to go out there and do a goodbye. Or we're going to be standing under a light or something. You I know? know it. Oh, well. The weather's going to be... Sasha down there wallowing in the gravel. Of course, because I'm taking a little dust bath. That and you get the Himalayan inside. I leave them out to cool off. I think I left a little too too long. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was a little really fun ride. The little woman, yeah, both of us kind of tuckered out. We did a lot of chores today. Yeah. You got to do I'm those every once sore. in a while. You've been kind of putting that stuff off. I know it. And then you overdo it. Yeah. And you're going, oh, I can't even move. Yeah. Kelly's arms and stuff are killing her, so. Oh. Tomorrow will be another day. Yes. We're off again tomorrow, too. It's Sunday tomorrow. It is. <laughs> but anyway, on that, we're going to bounce out on you. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Thank you. Thanks for coming along for another Himalayan ride out in the country. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.